What's up fellow Lords of Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Future Fight. So the update is here and uh, we've got your Omega Red, your Cable, your Domino and your uh, Strife. So let's take a look at the update and what we got overall. Um, special Daily Growth support is up. Uh, it's just your Special Shield Special support is up and it's important to note that this has changed. So instead of uh, you getting your autoplay plus inside here, you're now gonna get your batch clears for stages one through 25. Um, for those um, which should help you speed up your runs through Shadowland um, to get, pe get, get those Shadowland tokens for the Shadowland shop. Speaking about the Shadowland shop, nothing really too different that we saw going in there. Same items that we kind of expected. Um, there is a CTP of Conquest release celebration loyalty point events for the whales. Purchase items to acquire two types of loyalty point rewards. So you get the normal rewards and then you get the 12 additional ones. So at the top of this, basically for unlocking the items at level 12, you basically unlock a CTP of Conquest. Um, but buyer beware to get up to stage 12 i can tell you right now it's not going to be cheap um along with that there's some other packs inside of the shop uh, the doctor strange card pack is inside of here it's 4500 crystals and you get all five of the cards um so that way you can get those um the collection rewards if you really want to do that so if you're in need of the tokens uh the crystals i don't think that this is necessarily a bad purchase i mean it's non-premium cards um but like it, you're basically playing paying a dollar for each card and then you're getting 4500 crystals so in that vein I, I i really don't think that it's a bad deal but i want you to pay attention because you can see the loyalty points over here is 50 and you get the 49.99 so you can see what i was saying about the stage 12 you're going to be spending some serious amount of money if you want to invest in that um reward um, so the comic art chest is back up as well. Uh, you get four premium cards and then you get 2000 crystals as well. $99 for a hundred of those. So if you can imagine, you know, going to that loyalty point, you're there. So Omega's Red's tentacle chest is up. It includes, uh, some X genes for Omega Red and Domino. Um, well, I guess these aren't X genes for Domino. They're just regular, um, tokens and then you get x genes for omega red now uh truth to lending i don't know what the hell you would be using these x genes for <laughs> um because uh let, let's be real and honest here um we haven't had characters in a while especially mutant characters so the idea that you need x genes when he doesn't even have a uniform um hard to sell on that one um, so like, I, I mean, I guess if you're in, in need of Phoenix feathers and maybe M cron shards and stuff like that, cause I guarantee you that's what you're going to probably get is the M cron shards and Phoenix feathers. Um, and some of the other level up kits, you can use those there. Um, again, it gives you the loyalty points and, you know, to be honest with you, I, I, I always say to players that these are not bad deals. And the reason why I usually say that is because you're essentially getting the items in the box for free. Yeah. So whatever items you get in there are for free because what you're really paying for is the crystals here. 330 crystals for 299. That's basically, you know, equivalency plus. So not a bad deal if you are feeling like you're in need of. Um, I, at this point, I would just hope that you don't get these uh, bios and that you get some of these because it is going to be a heavy laden update in terms of uh, Phoenix Feathers. And it calls into question again why we are trapped into Imicron Shards and Phoenix Feathers the caps but not a bad deal overall there the cable tier 3 upgrade pack you know go go ahead and purchase that if you need it but i think most players are going to already be at the uh at the level that they need to be i think that was it really in the shop i'm pretty sure that was it inside the shop so let's um Let's take a look real quick, like I said, back at the Shadowland shop. So you get the Shadowland chest and everything that you thought was in here was going to be in here. It's pretty much like your standard shop from your story missions. Um, I would love it if they, you know, I know they have to add some degree of probability inside of here, but I think the Shadowland chest would have been fire if it just included um, the, you, 
you know, CTPs, the obelisk and the, uh, you know, the superior boost and maybe, you know, remove some of the five star cards. So that way it's just six star premium cards, especially since six star uh, non premium cards, mythic cards, uh, since we really don't need these. And then we got chaotic ISOs and what you call it. like at this point, who needs a chaotic ISO, especially if it doesn't already have, you know, um, red stars on it so that's inside of there and then you've got your basic shadowland shop inside you can see it's 1100 tokens and um so good items overall there we also still have the continuation of our normal shop which i thought i did believe that what you call it omega red would be in here but <laughs> alas he is not <laughs> he is not in here so maybe there's gonna be another event shop that's gonna come after the completion of this one and or it's gonna be you know 29th and then we'll get uh we'll get his bios the ones that are for free inside there for that one um okay so let's jump in and take a look at some of the characters overall uh oh oh oh, oh before we jump into that so you do have the you do have the event quests that is going on so you've got the event quest that's going on inside here. Try not to forget because there are additional X-Force pre-release event tokens. So I think that his bios will be available in the actual event token. So this one is set to go for another six days or so. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it is there. We've got another timeline survival event that is going. Um, so you can get some three and four star uh, you can get some three and four star artifacts completely random and at chance. So buyer beware on the survival kit upgrade. But if you are looking at utilizing the survival kit upgrade, it's better to purchase it now than wait till later on. Otherwise, you miss out on the benefits and the bonuses of it. I don't think that it's worth it for twenty five hundred crystals just so that way you could possibly end up with a three star artifact. This is my opinion. So, yeah, I'm not really there um yeah now nah, good I, i'd pass and skip on that one future passes inside the shop you know it's normal standard fare uh you know nothing really to write home about here you've got the uh cable eagle eye special icon and then the uh domino lee luck icon inside of here so those are there those are there inside of there and in, inside the game as well now before i move on to the characters um, there is something that I wanted to point out to the players because I, I thought this was pretty strange and I can't find it in the shop. So I, I think it just hasn't started yet is basically my, my summation. So there is going to be an update celebration 28 day one plus one check in pack. So <laughs> this is how I know now that um, Marvel Future Revolution developers have made their way over to Marvel Future Fight. So normally these update celebrations, we would have just normally received a 28 day, you know, whatever pack or something like that, a celebration month, you know, for, for rewards. Would they have been the greatest rewards? Not necessarily, but <laughs> now they are basically trying to sell us the rewards that they were already giving us. So, um, Take that as you want to, but essentially when you purchase it, you'll get a tier two selector uh, for a character. Um, it does not say which characters are going to be available in here. I'm going to imagine that you're not going to have some of the special characters in a custom gear chest at six, six star custom gear chest. Who the hell cares about Obelisk? I don't know. But along the celebration event, you will get some boost points, some Odin's blessings, apparently, and then a CTP as well. Now, my expectation is that that CTP is going to be completely random. So you're going to the mileage will definitely vary on this $9.99. Um, I just find it extremely weird and odd that the plus up on this 28 day check in award now is that you're selling it to us for $9.99 seems a little weird um okay so moving right along i'm just gonna i'll just leave that at that and say what it is so we did get the characters now uh like i said omega red is in the pool uh if you click to click on location he's on he it shows only to get 30 x genes daily so presumably when the event uh the 
you know, so the, the event is going, you'll be able to unlock him there using just five of the bios that you need to unlock him. And then you could conceivably just go inside your inventory and use like mega upgrade and tier two advancement tickets to get him up to snuff and skip out on needing the bios. Now, um, I think that his uniform, you know, he looks really, really cool. Um, I think they nailed the character. He definitely has high skill. Main problem I think a lot of players are going to have is my man is seriously just a tier two character. That's right. A combat T2 character. Like as if being a combat class character in this game wasn't just a little bit of dumpster fire. He is literally locked in at T2. So it is what it is, right? I don't want to, I don't want to pass anything and say anything but it's just i like the, the the when are we going to return to omega red the odds of returning to omega red anytime really soon it just doesn't seem like it's there um and why they just would have evaded giving him his tier three i i don't know like at this point releasing t2 characters just doesn't make sense he basically becomes a shadow land character and that's it at that point so we get the first skill inside of here which he just throws out his carbonadium whips um and that's it right so like you can see the effect the energy drain up here now here goes a question for for you guys like i cannot remember but i could have sworn that uh omega red's carbonadium whips applied some type of poison effect um and i meant to look it up but i, I totally forgot because i was playing remnant 2 a lot last yesterday but at last so first skill, not a whole lot there to, you know, on, on that skill at all. Uh, second skill, we it's funny because I remember that skill from like Marvel Marvel's uh, Capcom games and stuff like that. So it looks, you know, really simple skills. We go into his third skill and, you know, <laughs> something about Omega Red, like the third skill pops off. And I'm going to be honest with you with his skill pool, his skill visuals are so old like other than his fifth skill the rest of his skills are so old so let me go back to this and i'll put on the vfx skill so you can see the actual glory of his fifth skill because it almost looks the the vf uh excuse me sfx on that skill look absolutely cool but <laughs> other than that the rest of his skill pool is 2018 like skills like inside here i know they've got more damage on them than what they are but they man not good looking so he's got a really nice easy skill rotation five four three inside of here so five four and then three very simple rotation he's getting some serious hits in and uh it looks good you know but that's it like you basically got a tier two um a tier two character and <laughs> like I, I really don't know what more to say about this character it's a tier two character um yeah it, it like it, it sucks because he, he's 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 gonna be by himself in terms of like you know this it, it's basically gonna give mbaku vibes right like yeah you like the character go ahead and go purchase him to you know level him up and get him there but at this it just doesn't make sense. And by the way, it's going to cost you Phoenix Feathers to level him up. So it is what it is, I guess. You know, like I just I'm just highly disappointed. So then we go up to potential transcendence. Um, Domino, who has transcended everything now. And this is where I get into the, the conversation about upgrading her. Right. Because essentially you're going to have to pay, you know, the Phoenix Feathers uh, to get her up to snuff and to rotate these. But at the same time, you're going to be working on characters who needs their uniform upgrades, the like of like Cable, for instance, and his uniform options. Guess what? They're going to cost you. Um, they're going to cost you Phoenix Feathers and Mkron Shards as well in order to level the character up. Um, it's going to be the same for Strife and the same for Domino. And so you make this a very like if you had to imagine, I don't know what the cost inlaid to these. Both of these are native tier twos. Um, I don't know what the cost inlaid on total Phoenix Feathers. But if I had to imagine, you're going to get stuck because you're not going to have enough Phoenix Feathers in your inventory, especially at the 6000 cap to basically get these characters up to snuff with their uniform options and level her up. So it's probably going to take you a time because of the gate put in on those uniform options. Nothing more than that. You know what I mean? So 
at writ large, it just kind of sucks. So let's take a look at Domino really quickly inside here. I did uh, get her to level 70. It was crazy because for Strife, I was able to get him up to... Um, I was able to get him up to tier three very quickly, mostly because of the fact that I had been holding this dude with high regard for a while and I immediately pushed him to 70 when they started releasing that for characters. So I was able to tier three advance him. Um, and then we have Domino sitting over here. I swear to God, I still cannot remember the character. Um, the Joker female spent like, you know, spinoff character or whatever it was. But that's what Domino looks like with this uniform. It's not a bad looking uniform. Like, I think overall she looks, you know, she looks really good inside the uniform kit. Um, but let's take a look at her, uh, her, 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 her skills. I forgot to max out this one. I don't know why I did it. Oh, no, no, I didn't forget to do it. I didn't do it because I didn't want to spend the, the Phoenix feathers. Ah, fuck. Oh, well. Anyways, so <laughs> yeah. so let's take a look at her skill pool um, and see what she looks like overall inside here. All right, so we're going to turn off the skill display. All right, so first skill that we got up is her one. Um, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a little weird, right? Because like there's nothing really going on with some of these kits enough to justify the cost, but let's go back. So two... I think we've seen that skill before on her her third skill nice little power up shot that she has I, I, not a whole lot to, to write home about um like it is what it is i guess you know what i mean like <laughs> i don't know like what do, what do they do with the character kiss when they look at this like you know so on her second skill she doesn't have a lot on the first or second so you're probably not going to be rotating in on those skills anywhere most of the stuff is with her third and fourth skill so i got to turn on the uh the ai because this is a counter attack skill so we want to see it in that regard right so she has the effect that immediately pops out from there and you know does a little flip in the air i think we've seen that skill a number of times previously so i'm not like you know flipping amazed by it at this point her fourth skill uh by the way this is her accumulation skill as well so her fourth skill she has the frenzy buff on this skill uh so we're basically rotating into four she drops a whole load of bombs and you know fires fire, fire from her gun and then we got her fifth skill which actually looks really cool to me because you get the dice inside of there um probability manipulation over there and then she just basically hauls off and then we get her sixth skill which apps actually looks pretty cool to me i like the cross up x from from the x force and then her in warpath there it would have been nice to i know like uh you know um Angel's already received like his upgrades, but it would have been nice to see Angel, her, and um, Warpath together. Um, but mm, okay, so then we get her practice combo three, four, five. Really simple, easy rotation. Three, four. Oops, I messed that up. Reset. So we go three. Slight delay. F I, I am screwing this one up. It's a slight delay that they have in there. Four and then five. And she's got some nice damage overall inside of it. Um, I expect her to be decent, but like how decent is the question? Like that that's really the question for me, is like how decent is she gonna be? Um you know, like I said, she's gotta compete against some speed characters, and she doesn't have very many in terms of the speed, you know, speed. She's just gotta beat out Rogue and um some uh, one other character, I believe it is. So and Rogue's received her tier three so long ago, but you can almost guarantee Rogue will receive an update at some point. So she'll probably get eclipsed inside of here. All right, so going back to the team, I think the two characters everybody are really excited about is going to be Strife. Um He's going to receive his tier three. Uh, well, he's, he's received his tier three. And I think overall, the character kit looks good. Um, like his uniform, I, I'm not disappointed in. It's just not a whole lot of change. Like essentially, they just changed the color here and here. And then they sh they tattered his cloak. So like you can see the differences. Like it's they're not like huge. I mean, it's definitely been updated in terms of design like there's a lot more sheen on that armor than there was previously it was very dull and everything felt layered and flat so it's not a bad update this is in terms of uniform it's just like okay so anyways let's take a look at this man's skills overall
Um, I, I don't really have very much hope for him since he's tier three in terms of like what he's going to be able to do or what I need him to do. So, I mean, it makes it easier that he was easy for me to level up in terms of being a blast because my expectation is Doctor Strange is going to be the mid month. Um, so I'm, you know, it, you can do with that as you want. So anyway, Strife's uh, first skill is going to be the increase, uh, excuse me, is going to be the stun and fracture skill overall basically summons up a um a rock and, and slams down it looks pretty cool his second skill also to me like it looks good so i like the kit overall in terms of what he looks what he's able to look like and do it's just the tier three man so blast beam is a counter attack skill so we need to put the ai on for this one um, and we can just do that and then he basically refires the blast beam back now It's interesting because if you don't have the AI on nothing happens There's not a lot that happens on a skill. So you really need to time that counter-attack very well um, And that's his accumulation skill. So it's like it's a weird one, right? Because you press the three the accumulation triggers um, regardless, but you miss out on the cool effect if you don't time it appropriately because then you don't have the um, look. See, I missed it, right? See, I, I'm missing it, I'm not timing it right, and it, 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 the, the, the counter attack doesn't seem to last very long, like it's, it's weird, it, it, it just doesn't seem to last that long at all. So, you're gonna have to be really good on your timing of this skill and just hope that you're getting a lot. And you can see that there's almost like 110 hits that are happening. Well, it's one, it's a couple of targets that is probably hitting these three targets. So there's like 30 or 40 hits that are happening on this. That if you don't time it very well, then you're missing out on those hits. Like, I don't know. Not a huge fan of that third skill in terms of the counter attack ability, but I, I, I could see where there's going to be some utility in there. His fourth skill, and, and that's your accumulation skill as well. So his fourth skill looks pretty cool, um, but we just saw this skill. Like, did we not just see the skill with Kang? Like, we just saw this with Kang. So talk about major reuse of um, animations. <laughs> um, his fifth skill, also not too bad. Um, overall, like, I dig it it's pretty cool and his six his tier three actually looks really cool to me so i'm gonna turn okay the vfx is on my problem is is we've also seen this skill before um we've seen it with adam warlock we've seen it with uh gene gray we've seen it with thanos so a lot of reused animations here get it i get it i always get it right it's just that there doesn't take a lot of deviation from this stuff to copy paste and basically move on from there so we've seen those before so let's go into his practice combo he does have very easy rotations on here i was surprised that we were starting off with four and then going into three and then five with the character but it is what it is right so we're gonna really really easy rotation four three five no delay cancels or anything you just let the skill rotate through um couldn't be more happier with that right and then we go six four three five really really simple nice uh damage uh hits on those as well um i've seen it go from anywhere from about 123 to 135 um so i think overall good good character uniform upgrade for him um but at the point from where he was to where he is, anything would have been better for him. So it's not for me when I judge these characters, not about whether or not the character is good. Right. Because that doesn't really make sense, especially when you look at the character and you go, mm, you came from nothing and now you're here. So the judgment really is stacking him up against the characters that he currently has to compete. And unfortunately, he only has to compete against two characters and the mutant villain uh male mutant villain and that's magneto and mr sinister so not too bad there for him gives you another tier three so last but definitely not least is cable and i love his soldier of fortune look um a little disappointed with like it felt lazy when it got up to here like his arm i felt like could have really shined a lot more in terms of like what they would have did for depth and layer if they added it it was just really popped but overall i think the uniform looks really cool um i wish they would have added some more layered effects in there 
like it just really stands out how flat most things are on here and the visual effect is flat when you start to look at his uh all of his straps right like it, it, you know that's a rob lee feel that's a 90s look with all the straps and and uh packs and ammo packs and stuff like that that's definitely a 90s look for character character creation but when you, you have it here and they don't pop in terms of looking 3d they tend to look flat especially those straps the way they just kind of layer inside there even his little neck scarf just looks very flat overall and his tendrilled arm you know with the techno virus taking over looks very flat but i would say that overall the visual on the character looks pretty cool I, i'm not not too mad about it at all now he is getting his tier four now buyer beware in, in terms of this because it is he's a blast male superhero right so he's a blast male superhero um blast male superhero mutant and he doesn't have a lot to compare to either because it's basically professor x right um similar probably pedigrees in terms of telekinetic powers um so you're like you know leapfrogging one or the other but with the doctor strange like alluding to with the cards you could end up where you basically have like cable and doctor strange in the same month and I would prefer Doctor Strange to, to T4. So I'm going to hold off on tier four in him. I'll get him to level 80, but I'll hold off on tier four in him until I see who the mid month is. And even then, I don't know because I'm very low on resources and very low on gold since my last update. And I still haven't tier four uh, Odin, who I really, really want to tier four. So I wasn't rocking a whole lot on Cable just because uh, he wasn't a character that was in my rotation quite a lot. So that was just the truth of the matter, right? But previewing the skills, not feeling necessarily bad about the skills. Same little opening that he has inside here. Um, cable skills, they look really good. I'm just going to be honest. But it's just a lot happening on screen. Um, so it makes it really weird, weird. So his first skill, stun punch inside there. Um, you're not going to really probably be rotating through that skill quite a lot. His two skill basically same thing as his stun punch but it looks good love cable with his bfg all the goddamn time right <clears throat> so uh his third skill is going to be your first it's going to be your magnetic force field um it looks really good um i like it lasts long enough gives you accumulation has his recovery effect on it and the recovery effect happens right in the beginning so can't complain about that at all either right so good kind of in the beginning so then we roll into his fourth skill. Uh, like it's weird because the skill does nothing. Like, like for real. Like even if you're standing close to somebody, it doesn't doesn't do anything. Like, it, yeah, <laughs> stunning paralysis on that skill. So it is what it is. But it's just a buff skill. So you could think of it like almost like Hulk skill. But Hulk skill I think does damage when he buffs. Um, so then his fourth skill is grenade blast. Um, dashes around the field and then just lights a bunch of grenades that then eventually fall down um not bad at all his fifth skill hologram release i like it basically some holograms himself why the hell in the world does the holograms fire in opposite directions i don't know like you'll see it like it comes in and he's like firing one way and the holograms are firing the other way and then like <laughs> It's, it's so weird, right? Because like, it's cool if the holograms are actually in there, you know what I mean? And they're in the midst of some stuff, but it's so weird when he's over here and they're just firing in the opposite direction and nothing's happening. And you can see the hit numbers actually matter in that regard, right? Because he doesn't have anything to hit with the two holograms that he releases. So why the hell are the holograms not figuring out where to properly fire <laughs> it's weird and so i've heard that the proc on his fifth skill is also not really working the 70 percent damage proc is not working i don't know if that's true or not i'm not one of those like min max testers so i don't know but it, it like it doesn't make a difference why the holograms firing in the other direction and you losing out on hit points because you're not they're not shooting anything like it doesn't make sense right like you could you, you would have thought somebody tested that out and was like hey um you're gonna be playing this character at t4 inside of world boss 
ultimate world boss legend modes and he's only going to have one target to fire on but because <laughs> because the holograms don't actually target the one actual t character then you're going to lose out on damage points there so he's got to be like a crowd clear type character so is did we get a tier four character that was specifically meant for like um story mode and <laughs> like it's just weird when you look at it right so then his uh six tier four uh his tier three ability looks pretty cool you know the bfg we've had we've had that before inside there with the blast in the back definitely night again 90s action film right and then his six uh his tier four ability as well so not uh the tier four should be nice uh because of its effects like the recharge on the tier three skill specifically and then uh his increase all basic attacks so let's take a look at his practice combo and his combo is really easy five three four i was surprised again about this like i like i'm confused that we let off with the five but i guess not because you're gonna get it's weird to me because okay so let me be honest right so you get the one attack increased basic damage for 70 percent for one attack so you're gonna get the five and all of the damage is gonna happen there and then you're rotating into three which doesn't really have an attack effect on it and then you're rotating into four which does have the longer animation so i guess that makes sense for you to 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 pare down on that one um but it's so weird right because <laughs> It goes back to the two characters facing the wrong goddamn direction. Um, that you got the five, the five skills. So it's just weird. Like I, it, yeah. Anyways, all right. So then you got it with his uh, what you call. So it's just gonna be simple rotation five, three, four, and then into six. Like really, really simple. Nice. A lot of hits happening on the skill as well. You can see. Uh, can't complain about that. A lot of hits happening there. Um, and then his tier four basically comes in. Obviously, the, you're going to leave with the tier four because you're going to get the region on your on your what you call. And in each passing effect, the attack will increase. So seven. Oh, man. Five, three, four. I knew I was going to fail that one because I messed up the rotation. You do have a slight delay on his um, four skill. Seven, five, three, four and then six and that's essentially your rotation but this is what i meant by there's a lot going on on the damn screen so i'll turn off the uh the vfx on there so that way you can actually see it so now we go seven five oh i didn't reset the goddamn combo so we got seven five three four and then six still a whole lot going on so be prepared for that but that's the update overall that's my first impressions. I'll give you a little bit more detail. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Until next time, peace.